Good morning, I'm Karen and this is Willow and I thought I'd share with you today an everyday yoga morning routine. This yoga practice is simple but effective. It hits on all the major centers of the body that might be tight after sleep. I practice many of these poses every day because of how effective they are at opening the body quickly and safely. Ultimately, what we're after is finding more steadiness of mind, more peace of mind as we move through our days. For this practice, you'll need a strap or a towel. Willow, are you ready to get started? Willow loves up dog in the morning. Please come onto your back with your strap nearby and both knees bent. Pull your right knee into your chest and lengthen your left leg long to the ground. Flex both feet and anchor your left thigh down. Then reach your right hand to the outside of your right foot for half happy baby. Press your hand gently into your foot to guide your knee outside your right armpit. Let your left arm relax by your side. Anchor gently down through your left thigh and flex through your left heel as if you could place it on a wall in front of you. Release your right leg and lengthen it on the ground, resting for a moment with your arms by your sides. Pull your left knee into your chest. Then reach your left hand up to the outside of your left foot for half happy baby. Relax your right arm and anchor down through your right thigh bone, flexing through the right foot. Soften the back of the neck and your shoulders. Breathe from your abdomen. Release your left leg and lengthen it on the ground. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to touch with your knees open wide into reclining cobbler's pose. Place one hand on your abdomen and the other on your heart. Release all grip from your inner legs, your knees, and your feet. Bring the attention to the hand on your abdomen. The next time you breathe in, Feel the hand on your abdomen rise as the whole space fills with air. Now exhale and feel the hand fall as the navel comes closer toward the ground. Take an inhale and this time focus on the hand on the heart. Breathe deeply, feel the ribs expand. Exhale and let the hand soften as the back of the heart grows heavier on the ground. Now take an inhale, focusing on the abdomen first, fill it up. Draw the breath all the way up into the heart space. Now exhale, empty from your heart, and then empty from your abdomen. Continue with two-part yogic breath, breathing from abdomen first, traveling up to heart, then exhaling from heart to abdomen. Please release your hands by your sides and fold your knees together, feet flat on the ground. Reach around for your strap or your towel. Bend your right knee into your chest and hook the strap closer to the big toe mound of the sole of the foot. Reach your right leg up to the ceiling and bend at the elbows so that the shoulders remain on the ground. If you like and all feels well in the left hip, lengthen the left leg on the ground. Transfer the strap to your left hand, take your right thumb into the right hip crease, and manually move that hip forward so that your pelvis comes to level. Continue to reach back toward your face with your toes while keeping a soft bend in your right knee and sending your outer right hip forward. To increase the stretch along the outside edge of the leg, take the leg across the body just a little bit to the left until you find that deep outer leg stretch. Please bend your knee, release the strap from your right foot, and send both legs long, observing any changes in your legs. Bring both knees back in to bend. Take the strap on the sole of the left foot. Press the left leg straight up to the ceiling. Slide the hands down the strap so that the elbows are soft and perhaps extend the right leg long onto the ground.
Take the strap fully into your right hand. And with your left thumb and fingers, work the left hip forward gently so that the outer edge of your left leg lights up with stretch. Continue to draw the toes toward the face as you reach up through the left heel. Now relax your left arm by your side and perhaps work the left leg a little bit across the body to the right just until you find the sensation in the whole outer edge of the left leg. Inhale the leg back to center, bend the knee, release the strap and place it fully off to the side of your mat. Send both legs long for a moment of observation. Bend both knees, plant your feet hip distance apart on the ground. Reach your fingertips down so that they nearly touch your heels. Firmly press into your feet, squeeze your inner thighs, and lift your hips up toward the sky. On an exhale, lower your hips back down. Now inhale and reach your arms straight up overhead, palms still facing up as the hands might touch the ground behind you. Exhale and release your hands straight down by your sides. We'll combine the two movements here. Press into feet, Inhale, lift the hips and raise the arms overhead. Deeply exhale as you slowly lower your arms and your hips to the ground. Breathe in, lift arms, lift hips. Feel a stretch come across the top of the chest. Exhale and lower your arms and your hips back to the ground. Let's take one more round in this bridge pose variation. Inhale, reaching arms, reaching hips. Exhale, lowering back to the ground. As we transition to leg drops, there are two arm variations. One with your hands underneath your sacrum, lift your legs to the sky. The other is your arms lengthened by your sides, palms on the ground. Reaching through the balls of your feet, take an inhale and lower your legs down to the ground. Keep your low belly down and your low back pressed to the ground. Then exhale and reach your legs back up to the starting point. The moment your low back raises, that is where you stop your legs and draw the legs back up to center. Take slow inhales to move your legs forward with control and slow exhales to squeeze through your inner thighs and lengthen your low back on the ground as you bring the legs to center. Continue at your own pace. Soften your shoulders. Soften your mouth and your jaw. Allow the effort to be strong and real and perhaps even shaky in your abdomen. If the knees need to bend, they bend. However, continue the action of reaching the legs forward and back with full attention and focus on your abdominal area. Move slowly and without momentum, knowing that the shake and the difficulty is all part of the practice of becoming stronger at your core. Please find one more round. Squeezing inner thighs, reaching legs forward slowly on an inhale, and exhale, return legs back over hips. Widen your arms by your sides, lower your legs to the ground, and use the momentum to reach your arms forward and come up to a seat. Cross your ankles, plant your hands, and step your legs back into a high plank position. When you arrive, notice the fatigue and the feeling of strength you have cultivated in your center. Press away from the ground and take a big breath into your back body, feeling your full body strength. Exhale, reach the hips up and back into downward facing dog. Feet are hip distance apart, hands spread widely through the fingers and suction cup the knuckles onto the ground. Keep the ears along the biceps to relax the neck and bend the knees as much as you need to find relief in the hamstrings. 
take an exhale and step forward towards your hands into standing forward bend. Keep the knees bent if you need and relax the whole upper body toward the thighs. Take your hands to opposite elbows and fold heavily with the weight forward into the balls of your feet. Release your arms. Inhale and roll one vertebra at a time up to standing. As you arrive, allow the feet to remain hip distance apart. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, stretching into upward salute. Grasp the right wrist, then exhale and side bend to the left, softening the shoulders down the back. Inhale and lift up to center. Switch out through your grip. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale and return back to center. Exhale, palms to touch, hands to heart, in equal standing pose. Close your eyes, take a big breath in, and a big breath out, ready to start your day. Thanks for practicing with me. I'll see you next time. If you liked this practice, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more yoga and mindfulness videos. Namaste.